Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and in this video I'm going to be showing a complete countdown of the top speeds of all fully upgraded vans. All of these top speed values have been calculated in game as accurately as possible to the nearest 0.5 of a mile per hour and for a full explanation of how this is all done, read the description. If you want to know how all vehicles perform in a variety of different classes and formats, check the annotation on the screen or the link in the description for the full playlist of videos and of course feel free to subscribe for future updates. So first up in the Vans class we have the Surfer. In last place it has a top speed of 67.5 miles per hour which is the slowest that we've seen throughout the course of this testing so far and it also makes the Surfer the slowest fully upgradable and storable vehicle in the game. It's absolutely awful in terms of speed in general. So just ahead of the Surfer in 14th place these are now into the realm of vehicles that you can't actually store but you can use in a race. So we had the Taco Van there and now we've got the Boxville. They're both tied for 14th place with a top speed of 71 miles per hour. Still very very slow but it must be remembered that all of the vehicles that we're seeing here so far are not upgraded, you know, it's not possible to store them, it's not possible to upgrade them. The only way you can access them is by the lobby screen in a race, in a van's race. So even though these aren't fully upgraded, they're still quicker than the Surfer, which is fully upgraded. So that just shows you how slow the Surfer actually is. So in 13th place we had the Camper and now, now in 12th place we've got the Journey, top speed of 74 miles per hour and that's sort of the end of the very 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 slow vehicles. Now we get into something a little bit more reasonable because we've got a 3 way tie for 9th place. First up in that 3 way tie is the Lost Gang Burrito, again you can't fully upgrade this, you can't store it, you can't access it in general but it does have a top speed of 90.5 miles per hour which is exactly the same as the regular burrito as well with a again top speed of 90.5 miles per hour so these three that we're seeing here are tied for 9th place, again none of these are fully upgraded, we're not up to uh, upgraded vehicles just yet but they, they would be reasonable if you could upgrade them. Now. The Pony we've got next up is again 90.5 miles per hour for its top speed, same as the Burrito, same as the Lost Gang Burrito and now we move on to the best of the stock vehicles, the best of the vehicles that you can't upgrade and that is the Clown Van. So the Clown Van is exactly the same as a Speedo, the Speedo and the Clown Van are both identical in terms of what they're, in terms of vans and this has a top speed of 94.5 miles per hour, so much quicker than what we've just seen and it's a very very reasonable top speed, especially considering that is not fully upgraded in the slightest, that is completely stock, that's only 0.5 of a mile per hour slower than our 7th place vehicle which is the minivan which is fully upgraded and from this point on all of the vehicles that we're seeing are completely 100% fully upgraded. So the Bobcat XL is just ahead of this in 6th place with a 95.5 miles per hour top speed and again because these are all so close it's showing how good the Speedo or the Clown Van could be if you could store it and you could fully upgrade it. It would be actually very very quick in terms of top speed and around a circuit unfortunately you can't do that. So top 5 now, in 5th place we've got the Yuga with a 96.5 miles per hour top speed with a good showing there and then in 4th place a 98.5 miles per hour top speed for the Bison, so 2 miles per hour quicker, I think a lot of people think the Bison is a lot quicker than what it is, it used to be the top dog around a track but in terms of top speed it's pretty average and round the same area as what we're seeing here. So 3rd place we've got the Paradise, 99.0 miles per hour. Good showing from the Paradise, it's not that great around the circuit compared to the top dogs but it's got a reasonably decent top speed and then just ahead of it, 0.5 of a mile per hour ahead of it is the Rumpo in second place. So again all of these vehicles so far in that sort of this top spot have been uh, very very close together in terms of top speed all within a half a half a mile per hour of each other you could say but ultimately in first place we have the Gang Burrito. This has a top speed of 105.5 miles per hour which isn't all that quick in terms of the majority of cars in GTA in general but compared to the vans class it absolutely demolishes everything. It's, it's 6 miles per hour quicker than second place and a hell of a lot quicker than everything else. The Gang Burrito is the quickest around a circuit as well easily and it is also by far and away the quickest in terms of top speed. Now this is where it gets a little bit annoying because if you think back to the muscle cars video the Moonbeam 
which a lot of people assumed the Moonbeam was going to be in the Vans class because that's very much what it looks like. The Moonbeam was placed into the Muscle class and that has a top speed of about 102 miles per hour. So not quite as quick as the Gang Burrito, yet it's still in second place. It would still be in second place. But the interesting thing is that the Moonbeam is actually quicker around a circuit than the Gang Burrito. It gets a better lap time. So the Moonbeam is basically perfectly balanced for the Vans class to be a counter to the Gang Burrito. You can either choose the Gang Burrito for its top speed, or you can choose the Moonbeam for its pace around a circuit, its traction, uh, you know, how, how good it is in the corners. And obviously different tracks will suit different Vans depending on which one, what the track's like and, and which one you choose. But they decided to put the Moonbeam in the Muscle class. So it's basically another case of the Blister Compact. It's a Blister Compact all over again, where we have a, a vehicle that's perfectly balanced for one class to be at the very top and give us an option in a certain class, being placed in a class where it's absolutely completely useless. The Moonbeam is way off the pace in the Muscle Cars class, but it would be perfectly balanced for vans and it would be a good counter to the gang burrito depending on the circuit and depending on what you preferred to use. But ultimately, that's not the case. We have the best van in the game is far and away the gang burrito. Whether you're on a circuit or in terms of top speed, the gang burrito is king. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know all your thoughts down below about this and about the Moonbeam in general not being in the vans class. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for all your support. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.